Hi y'all. This message is to who it concerns, who is fretting about your income. Years ago, a friend of mine said to me, don't let your income determine your outcome. And also, people, don't be intimidated by folks who you believe have more than you do. Because it's not what you have so much as it is who you are. There's nothing wrong with having plentiful material possessions. But keep it in perspective, people. And some people are having some tight budgetary issues at this particular time in your lives. It doesn't take anything away from you as your authentic self. Just continue to do the best you can. Have some ambition. But don't be fretting about your current financial status so much that you lose sight of who you are and of your identity being more important than what's in your pockets and in your accounts, okay? Because those things can certainly change. And I am going to be reading something from the Bible. And no, I have not returned to Christianity, nor will I ever do so. But as many of you already know, there are some morsels and treasures found in the pages and in the content of the Bible. If we just know how to dig and define what is applicable and what's not, we just keep it moving. So I'm reading just one little piece from the book of Ecclesiastics. And it says, in Ecclesiastics 9.15, Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Okay? So, he was poor and wise. And you got some rich folks this. Well, I'm not going to get into the rich folk group because that's going to take a little bit of time that I don't want to invest. But I just want to encourage people. Don't be discouraged because you're limited in the material realm. Just use opportunities such as this to further develop yourself. And then go ahead and research and study and understand and Realize how to change your status. In the meantime, just keep loving you. And that's so essential because you have a lot of people who have material possessions are plenty. And we read about some of them blowing their brains out, blowing out the brains of their family members. They're on drugs and they are miserable and, and cheating on their spouses. So, you know, everything that glitters ain't gold, as they say. And there are some people that are well off as well in the material realm who are content people. So I'm not just saying everybody that has plenty of money is unhappy or miserable, but they do have some of that category. So the bottom line is just be your authentic self and don't be intimidated by folks that have more than you do in the realm of finances and so forth. Years ago when I had literally little, <laughs> my father said to me, wherever you go, Act like you belong there. And one day I was working in a temp uh, office, in an office as a temp worker. And I had pretty much just got there early in the morning. I was in the break room. And this woman walked in there. She may have been of executive status or whatever the case may have been. And she looked at me. And I don't know what she saw because I hadn't even been there long enough to have done anything or make any kind of impression or so I thought. She looked at me and said, who are you? You act like you belong here. <laughs> And I said to her in a nice, friendly tone, I do belong here while I'm here. <laughs> and she looked at me so surprised, like I was supposed to, what was I supposed to do? You know, come in there and kiss an ass? That ain't never been me. <laughs> I have never been intimidated by folks that had more than me. In fact, I had some of those well-to-do folks jealous of me because they couldn't understand how I could have so much less than they did and have so much <laughs> spirited personality. Because I knew enough about who I was that they were not less than me, and they were not more than me. I was not less than them, and I was not more than them. There are no superior people and no inferior people. That's a mental situation. And if that has a grip on you, then let it go, because you are not inferior or superior. You are being authentically you. I sure do hope. Thank y'all for listening. Bye now.